If you're an out-of-state investor and you're looking at getting involved in the Cleveland real estate market, I want you to watch today's show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV, and this is where we help investors like you invest in Cleveland real estate. The man I'm working with today, my guy, Andres from New York City, bro. You're getting started investing in Cleveland, and I got a nice low-risk duplex for you today. But before I jump into the numbers, before I jump into that analysis, I want to go over some information about Holton Wise in general with you, right? Because you have some questions on working with us and what that's all going to be like. So we're going to talk about it, right? So let's just go through your questions, right? One of your questions is, does the government inspect the property every year? That's a solid question, bro. Every two years, uh, Cleveland is going to do lead paint uh, inspections. The property I have for you today is not in Cleveland, so you're not going to be dealing with that. But the property I have for you today uh, is in a city called Euclid, where there are what's called point of sale inspections. That means anytime you sell it, there's going to be a city inspection. More information on that will be in the show notes, right? So it's going to vary uh, by municipality, right? Next question. Is there an extra cost on the PM side for managing Section 8 properties? Yes. Yes, there is, brother. Managing Section 8 properties is a total pain in the butt. takes a lot of work, and there's a lot of property managers out here in the Cleveland market that won't even touch it. However, Holton Wise, we are experts in it. The majority of my personal holdings are Section 8, and we will navigate all that for you. And we've actually set it up to be as easy as possible for you to find info. You go to HoltonWise.com, right? Click the FAC. Okay, we got our FAC for property managers. You're not a tenant, so you want to go here. And then right here, Section 8 FAC. We have an entire FAC dedicated to Section 8. Goes over everything. Because, folks, if you think working with Section 8 is simple, you are dead wrong, right? It's simple for you. But there's a lot of work on our side. So all the work involved, how much we're going to charge you for, the additional amount of work, the whole process, expectations, all of which can be found in our Section 8 FAC. Another question you had is, I know that the owner is responsible for maintaining the property in good shape to pass inspections, but what about the tenants? I'm assuming that is in regards to the Section 8 tenants. Uh if the tenants are purposely damaging your property and, and, and just screwing things up, yes, we can go to Section 8 and possibly get them to attempt to uh, pull their voucher. That is uh, one level of protection you do have. But uh, in the grand scheme of things, when you're working with folks, especially low-income folks, ultimately almost all of the burden will eventually fall on you, the property owner. <laughs> Welcome to investing in real estate, brother. <laughs> and then uh, your last question. Uh, at what point are you able to provide an actual bid for any re renovation that is needed? Great question, brother. So go right up to our FAC again, the property management FAC. Let's back up, get out of the Section 8 FAC. And if you check out this FAC, we explain the whole process to you, right? The buying process with both text and videos, right? Just explaining the whole shebang. And you scroll down, and there's this perfect video for you right here. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Property management right here. All right. The renovation process. This is our GM Val. In this video and the text by it, she will explain to you our complete renovation process in a very simple and easy to understand fashion. There's a lot of variables when it comes to renovations, right? The scope of work, how big the reno is, how small the reno is, this, that, when you get your deposit money. All that stuff, right? There's, you know, simple stuff of just turning a unit, completely redoing a home for a bird deal, everything, right? It encapsulates it all in one simple, easy to use, easy to understand video. So you want to check that out. And then, Andres, there's a whole bunch of other questions you did not even ask, all of which can be found right there on the fact. Now, that is about how it goes working with Holton Wise in general. As far as what you and I are doing today, brother, today I'm going to show you the good, the bad, the ugly, my thoughts 
on a duplex that I think would be perfect for you. Super low risk, great for those just getting started in brand new markets, and we're gonna do all of that right after this. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and connect with motivated sellers nationwide. Welcome back. Let's dive into the numbers, okay? Now, this one is an incredibly safe, sound investment, folks. Don't get too caught up in just the cash on cash return numbers. This thing has got some other things going for it, okay? 25270 Lakeshore Boulevard, Euclid, right? Priced at 159000 900. Now, first of all, I like Euclid. Low risk neighborhood, right? B grade neighborhood. Recently, we got a new Amazon fulfillment center there that added a whole bunch of jobs, several thousand jobs. And the best part about Amazon and those types of jobs and how it correlates with investors like you, Amazon pays a minimum of $15 an hour to all employees over there, okay? $15 an hour in Cleveland, right? That's that's perfect for what you guys want, okay? You don't uh, necessarily uh, want people making $150,000 a year because they ain't renting your property, right? But you also don't want people don't have any money. $15 an hour is like that perfect sweet spot, right? They're making enough money to easily afford your investments, right? That's one thing about this. And the second thing I like is the layout, right? We got a nice brick layout, and it's side by side, all right? These are actually basically two separate homes connected. In Euclid, I've actually seen them sell these separately, okay? So they would sell like this one and this one. You get them both, you get the whole thing, right? You get everything, right? So it's like this tenant has their own home, completely separate basement, no shared laundry, nobody above or below you. Stuff like this, it doesn't necessarily show up in your charts, but this is what's going to lead to lower, more infrequent turnover, right? That's what keeps your returns high. Turning these properties over, guys, that does not make us money. Every time you do a turnover, it's a big killer. And also another thing too, right? See this car? This is the driveway for this unit, right? So the driveway for this unit, right there. The driveway for the other one, if we go back a picture, it's on the other side. This is something small, right? Here's their driveway, okay? Boom. This is something small that a lot of people think, what the, what the hell does it matter? Dude, if you've managed enough tenants, you know that they fight over the driveway, right? Duplex tenants fight like cats and dogs over the driveway, right? So separate laundry, separate basement, separate driveways, nobody above or below you. This kind of stuff, that's the stuff that over the long haul, over your career, really saves you on a lot of unnecessary turnovers. Then you see the interior of the units, man, they look great, man. This is just... Great looking stuff here, right? So nice, solid, safe investment, okay? Mechanical's looking good, man. That hot water tank, fairly new. Furnace looks to be fairly new, right? You even got an extra toilet in the basements. Looking good, man. No red flags there, right? This is a little bit older, probably about 15, 20 years old. Uh, that looks to be new, right? Just so you guys are all aware. Furnaces last about 30 years. They cost about $3,000 to replace. Hot water tanks last about 15 years. They cost a grand. And we have updated electrical, right? So everything is looking good. I like the neighborhood. I like the layout. What about those numbers, right? The tenants, they're paying 800 and 850 respectively. So 1650. And that 850 mark, that's market rent, right? So technically, yeah, we could get the other unit up, but let's just run the numbers where they're at now. 1650 a month comes in. After calculating for fixed and variable expense estimates, you should be pulling home a clean NOI of 630 a month, right? Over 7,500 a year. And that's keeping money that you're making now, right? But keeping it and not considering it part of your return. Let me explain. Repairs and maintenance, 990 a year, right? So that's 990 that's clear. That's on top of your 7,500. But I want you to not consider that 990 a return because eventually you're going to have to do repairs. Vacancy and not payment. I just got done explaining how few and infrequent turnovers are when you're in a nicer neighborhood with a better layout like this. But I still want you to calculate 
that 990, that 990 that comes in on top of your 7,500, consider that money that will eventually go towards vacancy and non-payment because you don't get tenants forever, folks. That's not how this business works. And then CapEx, that's the money where you're eventually replacing furnaces and hot water tanks, right? So there's an extra $3,000 here, right, on top of the 75 that you should be getting right now today because you got paying tenants in there with no needed repairs. But I want you not to consider that. Don't spend that money because I want you to budget that money for when you do have those big bills, right? As far as price goes, they got it listed at 100 59.9. It's a great property, but I think we can get you a little discount here. I'd like to see us pick it up at 150. We pick it up at 150. We only put down 37 and a half. Bank kicks in 112. That would pencil out to a clean 5% cash on cash return, but in reality, it's probably looking a little bit nicer than that because we're going to deal with so much fewer problems than comparable properties, right? That's the thing, folks. Uh, if you're trying to buy a nicer property, right, you're trying to get a brick versus a stick frame, you're trying to get a side-by-side -side versus an up-down, you're trying to get a B-grade neighborhood versus a C-grade neighborhood, well, the risk of owning that asset is lower. The asset itself is better. And, of course, you're going to have to pay for that because the seller knows all that as well, and the seller's going to sell the asset for a better price for them, right? This is something you want to own for the long haul. Is it as sexy as some of the other things you see here on this show? No, but it's also a lot less risky. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.